Hello everyone, welcome to the World Drone Market Channel. Today, we're bringing you a wiring video for AI and H16. This video will be divided into three parts. What materials are needed for wiring? How to connect them? How does the camera image appear on the remote controller? Alright, let's get started with today's content. Materials are needed for wiring. In this video, the equipment used includes Skydroid H16, CZR30, H16 receiver, Tatu plus 16,000 mAh battery, CAI module, Quavex 7 Plus, the cables used, H16 Telem 1 cable, H16 cable, CAI tracking module to C gimbal network communication cable, H16 LAN cable, ZR30 control signal output cable, X7 Plus power module, ZR30 power cable, I power cable. How to connect the wires? First, connect the telemetry port of the H16 to the Telem 1 port of the X7 Plus using the H16 Telem 1 cable. The connector of the H16 telemetry port is GH 1.25mm 3 pin, and the Telem 1 port connector of the X7 Plus is GH 1.25mm 6 pin. Next, use the port of the H16 to connect to the RC port of the X7 Plus flight controller. The H16 interface splits into two lines. The SBUS line connects to the RC port of the X7 Plus flight controller, and the power line should be connected last. The connector of the H16S bus port is GH 1.25 mm 3 pin, and the connector of the X7 Plus flight controller RC port is DuPont 2.54 mm 3 pin. Connect the video transmission port of the ZR30 to the LAN 1 port of the AI tracking module using the CAI tracking module to C gimbal network communication cable. The connector of the ZR30 video transmission port is GH 1.25 mm 9 pin. and the LAN 1 port connector of the AI tracking module is GH 1.25 mm 4 pin. Connect the LAN port of the H16 to the LAN 2 port of the AI tracking module using the custom-made H16 LAN cable. The LAN 2 port connector of the AI tracking module is GH 1.25 mm4 pin. And the connector of the H16 LAN port is GH 1.25 mm5 pin. Connect the control signal output port of the ZR30 to the Telem 2 port of the X7 Plus using the custom-made ZR30 control signal output cable. This cable is self-made. The connector of the ZR30 control signal output port is GH 1.25 mm5 pin, and the Telem 2 port is GH 1.25 mm6 pin. Connect the power module to an XT60 to JST adapter. Connect the X7 Plus to the power module.
Connect the ZR30 power cable to the power module. Connect the power cable of the AI tracking module 2 to the power module. Then, connect the power cable of the H16 receiver to the power module. Finally, connect the power module to the battery. How does the camera image appear on the remote controller? To achieve the tracking flight function, you need to integrate the camera with the flight controller. Open the MP ground station and connect to the flight controller. Click on configuration and debugging, then adjust the following parameters since our ZR30 control signal output is connected to Telem 2 port, adjust serial 2 parameters. Serial 2, baud 11520. Serial 2, Protocol 2, MNT1 Type 8, SR1 Extra 150, After setting these parameters, to enable tracking flight, set the drone's flight mode to guided. Next, open the remote controller and launch CFPV. Click on the top right corner, select the camera IP address, CAI camera, to display the video feed. Back on the main page, you'll see the second yellow icon on the left-hand side menu, indicating the integration of ZR30 with the flight controller. The fourth icon is for tracking settings. When you lock onto an object and click this icon, set the drone's flight mode to guided. The drone will then follow the locked object's movements. The video ends here. Thank you for watching. For more information, please stay tuned to the World UAV Market channel. See you in the next video.